Hi everyone, I'm Nick Rogers from NJR Custom Guitars. In this video I'll show you how I went about upgrading my Workbee CNC to a linear rail system. I should point out that there really was nothing wrong with my original Workbee. It worked just fine. I successfully made several guitars on the original machine before I even thought about modifying it. Changing to linear rails offered me the opportunity to modify the machine to better suit my requirements for guitar making. One requirement was to have at least 120mm machining height. The types of rails I chose for my project were SBR16 for the Y and MGH15 for the X and the Z. Deciding to use the SBR16 rails was a problem because the T-slots on the work beam machine have centres of 20mm but the screw holes in the SBR rails are 30mm apart. I got over this by making a 10mm thick transfer plate. This consisted of both counterboard screw holes for the extrusion and M5 tap holes for the SBR rail. Another consideration was to eliminate gantry twist. With this in mind I wanted to keep the distance from the centre of the spindle to the front of the C-beam to a minimum. My thinking behind this was the closer the spindle to the beam the less leverage it would conflict. To minimise this distance I decided to turn the gantry beam 180 degrees and use the MGH15 rails for both the Z and the X. With the strength of the C-beam in mind I decided to add a stainless steel box section. I split the box section through the middle and drilled holes in it to fix to the T-slots. The Z-axis. After many pencil sketches I thought it best to start over. So I completely redesigned it. It's made mostly of 10mm aluminium plate, dialed and screwed together. Considering the weight of the spindle, I thought it would be a good idea to have the stepper motor remain stationary and just the saddle have the movement, therefore saving the stepper from having to lift its own weight as well as the spindle. If you've enjoyed my video then please give me a thumbs up. If you like making, repairing or playing guitars then hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.